Ever wondered about the differences between 2D materials, thin films, and quantum wells? These are key terms in material science and physics. Each term describes a unique aspect of the material world, and understanding them is crucial for exploring the realms of semiconductor physics, nanotechnology, and solid-state physics. The term 2D material refers to crystalline materials that consist of a single layer of atoms. On the other hand, thin films are layers of material that can range in thickness from a fraction of a nanometer to several micrometers. Finally, a quantum well is a potential well with discrete energy levels, typically found in semiconductor physics. Each of these terms has a distinct physical structure, a unique way of confining electrons, and diverse applications in technology and research. So, buckle up as we start our journey into the captivating world of material science. Now let's delve deeper into each of these fascinating terms. First, let's talk about 2D materials. These are crystalline materials made up of a single layer of atoms. Imagine a perfectly arranged layer of atoms, so thin that you can't make it any thinner without it ceasing to exist. That's the fascinating world of 2D materials for you. Among the pantheon of these materials, graphene stands as a preeminent example. Picture a single layer of carbon atoms, perfectly arranged in a hexagonal lattice like an atomic-scale honeycomb. This wonder of nature and human ingenuity has properties that are nothing short of extraordinary. But graphene isn't alone in this 2D world. There are others like transition metal dicalcogenides, hexagonal boron nitride, and phosphorine each with their own distinct properties and potential applications. What makes these 2D materials special is their unique electronic, thermal, and mechanical properties. These properties are dramatically different from their 3D counterparts, like carbon in its diamond or graphite form. This is mainly due to their extreme thinness and high surface area to volume ratio. Another intriguing aspect of 2D materials is their sensitivity to the environment. A slight change in environmental conditions, such as an applied electric field or chemical doping, can significantly alter their properties. This sensitivity, while presenting a challenge, also opens up a world of possibilities for manipulating and harnessing these materials in ways we can only begin to imagine. 2D materials, with their unique properties, truly are a marvel of material science. Next we have thin films layers of material that can range from fractions of a nanometer to several micrometers in thickness. What's fascinating about thin films is their versatility. Unlike their 2D counterparts, thin films encompass multiple layers of atoms or molecules and aren't necessarily crystalline. Now the applications of thin films are as diverse as they are impressive. Picture this. They're used in photovoltaic cells, harnessing the sun's energy to power our world. They're integral to semiconductors, forming the foundation of our digital age. They're even used in optics, with anti-reflective coatings ensuring we see the world clearly. But what makes thin films so adaptable? Well, we can tailor their properties by playing around with their composition, thickness, and how they're deposited on substrates. There are several deposition methods, each with its own set of advantages. Techniques such as physical vapor deposition, chemical vapor deposition, and atomic layer deposition are commonly used, allowing us to create thin films with the exact characteristics we need. So, whether it's turning sunlight into electricity, powering our electronic devices, or enhancing our optical systems, thin films are truly remarkable. From photovoltaic cells to semiconductors, thin films find wide-ranging applications. Finally, we'll look at quantum wells, potential wells with discrete energy levels. Let's dive in. A quantum well is a thin layer of material sandwiched between two others with a larger band gap. This arrangement confines carriers like electrons and holes in the dimension perpendicular to the layer plane. Now, why does this matter, you might ask? Well, because of this confinement, energy levels become quantized. That's right. These energy levels are no longer continuous, but discrete, much like the steps on a staircase. This leads to intriguing phenomena, such as quantized conductance and the quantum Hall effect. But the magic of quantum wells doesn't stop there. The electronic and optical properties of these wells are harnessed in the design of numerous devices. Laser diodes, photodetectors, and high-electron mobility transistors, or EMTs for short, 
all rely on the unique properties of quantum wells. In essence, quantum wells are critical in any semiconductor device where manipulating electron wave functions is necessary for device functionality. They are, in a way, the unsung heroes of the semiconductor world, quietly enabling the technologies we rely on every day. Quantum wells, with their unique electronic and optical properties, play a critical role in many devices. So, we've explored 2D materials, thin films, and quantum wells. We've seen that 2D materials are a single layer of atoms with unique properties, while thin films, composed of multiple atomic or molecular layers, find use in a wide range of technologies. Quantum wells, on the other hand, confine electron motion to two dimensions, leading to discrete energy levels and exceptional electronic and optical properties. Imagine a world where technology is more efficient, more flexible, and more powerful than ever before. That's the promise of 2D materials. These materials, with their unique properties, are poised to revolutionize science, technology, and industry, bringing us a step closer to the future we've only dreamed of. Just a few atoms thick, these materials offer a remarkable blend of strength, flexibility, and conductivity that surpasses their three-dimensional counterparts. Their potential is vast, spanning across various sectors from electronics to energy storage, from optics to quantum computing. What makes them even more fascinating is their versatility. They can be molded, twisted, and layered to create new materials with customized properties. It's like having a Lego set for the atomic world. So let's embark on a journey through time, from the discovery of 2D materials to their current applications and future potential. The story of 2D materials begins with a simple piece of graphite and a strip of scotch tape. A seemingly ordinary day at the University of Manchester in 2004 transformed into a pivotal moment in the history of materials science. Two physicists, Andrei Geim and Konstantin Novoselov, were conducting an experiment that would ultimately lead to the discovery of graphene, the first two-dimensional material ever isolated. Their method was surprisingly simple. They used a piece of scotch tape to peel off layers of graphite, a common form of carbon. After several iterations, they arrived at a layer so thin it was effectively two-dimensional. This ultra-thin layer, composed of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice, was named graphene. The discovery of graphene sparked a revolution. Researchers around the world began to explore the potential of 2D materials and their unique properties compared to their three-dimensional counterparts. Graphene, for instance, is about 200 times stronger than the strongest steel, yet it is incredibly lightweight, flexible, and transparent. It also conducts electricity better than copper. The discovery of graphene opened the doors to a whole new world of materials. Today, a plethora of 2D materials has been discovered, each with its own unique set of properties. There are now 2D semiconductors, insulators, and even superconductors. Some of these materials are excellent conductors of heat, while others are insulators. Some are flexible and transparent, while others are rigid and opaque. These unique properties have led to a wide range of potential applications. From electronics to energy storage, from sensors to flexible displays, the possibilities seem endless. Researchers are even exploring the use of 2D materials in quantum computing, a field that could revolutionize the way we process information. Little did anyone know, this discovery would trigger a revolution in the world of materials science. The discovery of graphene and other 2D materials has undoubtedly changed the landscape of science and technology. As we continue to explore the potential of these remarkable materials, we can only imagine the innovations that lie ahead. 2D materials are more than just thin. They possess unique properties that make them game changers in various fields. When we talk about 2D materials, we're referring to substances that are composed of a single layer of atoms. This unique structure endows them with distinct properties that are absent in their three-dimensional counterparts. For instance, they exhibit strength, flexibility, transparency, and electrical conductivity that are unparalleled in the world of materials science. The strength of these materials is truly remarkable. Consider graphene, a typical 2D material. 
It's composed of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb pattern. Despite being one atom thick, it's stronger than steel, yet lighter and more flexible. This makes it ideal for applications where strength and light weight are paramount, such as aerospace and automotive industries. These materials also offer superb flexibility. Their atomic thinness allows them to bend, twist, and stretch without breaking. This flexibility opens up new possibilities in flexible electronics and wearable technology, where devices can be made to conform to complex shapes and surfaces. Transparency is another intriguing trait of 2D materials. Being only one atom thick, they allow light to pass through almost unhindered. This makes them ideal candidates for applications in transparent electronics and photonics where light manipulation is crucial. For instance, they can be used to create transparent conductive films for touchscreens, solar cells, and LED displays. The electrical conductivity of 2D materials is another game changer. Many of these materials, like graphene, are excellent conductors of electricity. This property, coupled with their atomic thinness, makes them perfect for applications in nanoelectronics, where miniaturization and power efficiency are key. But the magic of 2D materials doesn't stop at electronics. They also have enormous potential in the field of energy storage. For example, their large surface area and high electrical conductivity make them ideal for use in supercapacitors and batteries, where they can store and release energy swiftly and efficiently. In the realm of sensors, 2D materials hold great promise as well. Their high sensitivity to changes in their surroundings can be exploited to create sensors that can detect minute changes in temperature, pressure, chemical composition, and even biological entities. This opens up possibilities in fields as diverse as environmental monitoring, healthcare, and security. The properties of 2D materials also make them excellent candidates for use in catalysis. Their high surface area and unique electronic properties can be harnessed to speed up chemical reactions, making them valuable in industrial processes, fuel cells, and environmental remediation. From electronics to energy storage, from sensors to catalysis, 2D materials are making their mark. Their unique properties are reshaping the landscape of materials science and opening up new horizons in technology and industry. With these properties, 2D materials are poised to reshape our technological landscape. The future of 2D materials is as thin and wide as the materials themselves. With their unique properties, these materials hold the potential to revolutionize technology, creating a future that is more efficient, flexible, and compact. Imagine a world where our electronics are as thin as a sheet of paper and just as flexible. This isn't a far-off dream, but a possibility within our grasp thanks to 2D materials. With their atomically thin structures, these materials can be used to create flexible electronics, opening up a whole new realm of possibilities for wearable technology and bendable displays. But it doesn't stop there. The potential of 2D materials extends far beyond just the realm of electronics. They could also play a significant role in energy-efficient devices. For instance, the use of 2D materials in solar cells could dramatically increase their efficiency, making renewable energy a more viable option for powering our future. In the realm of computing, 2D materials could bring about a quantum revolution. Quantum computing, which relies on the principles of quantum mechanics, promises to dramatically outperform current computers in many areas, but it faces a number of challenges. 2D materials could help overcome some of these obstacles, with their unique electronic properties making them well-suited for use in quantum bits or qubits, the fundamental units of quantum information. Furthermore, 2D materials could also play a role in enhancing sensors and nano-electromechanical systems, NEMs. With their high surface-to-volume ratio, these materials could be used to create highly sensitive sensors, opening up new possibilities for medical diagnostics, environmental monitoring, and more. The potential of 2D materials is vast, and we are only just beginning to scratch the surface of what they can do. As we continue to delve deeper into the world of 2D materials, we are bound to uncover more exciting applications and possibilities. As we continue to explore the world of 2D materials, we can only imagine what incredible innovations lie ahead. However, every revolution has its challenges, 
and the 2D materials revolution is no different. As we delve deeper into the world of 2D materials, we must confront the obstacles that stand in our path towards full commercialization and integration into our daily lives. One of the primary challenges we face is scalability. While we have seen impressive results in laboratory settings, expanding these processes to industrial scales remains a daunting task. The synthesis methods we currently use, such as chemical vapor deposition and mechanical exfoliation, are intricate and require delicate control over environmental conditions. This makes them difficult to scale up without compromising the quality of the resulting materials. Additionally, stability poses a significant challenge. Many 2D materials are sensitive to environmental conditions, including temperature, humidity, and exposure to air. This sensitivity can lead to degradation over time, impacting the material's performance and limiting its potential applications. Researchers are actively seeking ways to enhance the stability of these materials, exploring options such as protective coatings and environmental control. Integration with existing technologies is another hurdle. We need to find ways to seamlessly incorporate 2D materials into our current technological landscape. This includes developing methods for interfacing 2D materials with traditional 3D materials and systems, as well as designing new devices that can fully exploit the unique properties of 2D materials. Lastly, we must address the economic considerations. Developing new technologies is always an investment and the return on that investment is not always immediate or guaranteed. The cost of research, development, and production must be weighed against the potential benefits and market demand. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards make the journey worthwhile, pushing researchers and industries to continue exploring and innovating. The promise of 2D materials is immense, and the obstacles we face are not insurmountable. With continued dedication, creativity, and perseverance, we can unlock the full potential of 2D materials and usher in a new era of technological advancement. So there we have it, a journey through the world of 2D materials. We've traversed the history, from their discovery to their unique properties that set them apart from their 3D counterparts. We've explored thin films, nanomembranes, and quantum wells delving into their synthesis and applications in areas as diverse as electronics, optics, and energy storage. Our journey has taken us through the marvels of graphene to other fascinating 2D materials like transition metal, dichalcogenides, boron nitride, and emerging ones like phosphorine and silicine. We've looked at the role of quantum mechanics in understanding these materials and marveled at their potential applications in groundbreaking fields like spintronics, valleytronics, and quantum computing. But this is just the beginning. As we continue to delve deeper and push boundaries, the potential of 2D materials is vast and largely unexplored. As we stand on the cusp of a new era in technology and industry, the future of 2D materials is as exciting as it is limitless.